Hi, my name is CJ Reddy. I'm the Vice President of Business Development for Altair Engineering. And we're at uh, IMS 2017 in Hawaii um, for the conference with 5G Focus. So we're going to talk about the overcoming the challenges of 5G antenna design and radio coverage uh, in this uh, talk. So one of the reasons for 5G is that, you know, the technology is now where we need more data demand and also the capacity of the data that's coming to come. Uh, coming to be in uh, uh, fruition for the sake of the uh, connected cars and machine to machine communications and internet of um, com internet of things uh, so the key solutions for this would be a 700 megahertz 3.5 gigahertz and 25 gigahertz range communications and now we can see how the <coughs> evolution of communications evolved from 1g to 5g that's going from 10 gigabytes per second from where it was the voice only communications so what is the key thing for uh, 5G is the um, massive MIMO, that is massive multiple input and multiple output arrays. That is, you have multiple antennas that are focused to the device and the device also focusing towards the base station. So there is two things going on. One is the device that is focusing to the base station, base station focusing the device. And that needs uh, the, uh, based on that, I think we came with the, uh, split off this talk into three parts. One is the antenna design for the de device, and the antenna design for the base station, and also, of course, the coverage between the both in terms of the uh, propagation. Altair offers the solutions for this in FICO for antenna design, both at the device level as well as the base station level, and also WinProf for the radio channel analysis and the network uh, planning. So let's look at the device. Uh, so we took uh, a 26 gigahertz uh, frequency to design the device antenna here. Uh, in this case, we can say we took from the literature an antenna design that looks like this. It's a kind of a printed dipole type of a design and at wide band from 24 to 28 gigahertz band. And we use the design to optimize using the optimizer called GSRM, uh, that is a generalized response surface method in FICO to optimize it so that we can create the array out of it. So using that, now we can integrate that into PCB. And uh, once we integrate in PCB and also look at the uh, S parameters, this is the self impedance or the self uh, S parameters, S11, S12, S13, S14, S44. For that. So you can see that all the four in this case agree very well. And also the, the isolation, which is also a very important aspect for the MIMO antenna design is also quite low here. And this shows at various frequencies different gains based on the antenna tuning that you have in this case. Uh, now, we also in the MIMO, not only that you know we have the antenna design and array design, but also we have the array focusing towards the base station, which means antenna has to scan at various angles. Uh, you can see an eight by eight array here, we're scanning at 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 75 degrees. Of course, the more you scan to 75 degrees, you will see that the side lobes also will come up, so you need to be careful when you scan at um, higher angles. <coughs> now, two of those arrays, one of the key things again in a MIMO is that the, when these two arrays are there, they need to have good isolation between them, and you can see that the isolation is more than minus 40 dB, which is pretty good in this case, and you can see the patterns of those two arrays here. Um, and now we integrate that into the device. At, this is at 0.9 gigahertz, integrating to the device and this is at the 26 gigahertz integrated device and because of the simulation technology we have with the finite difference time domain you can see that this only takes 43 minutes and 26 gigahertz only takes 56 minutes to solve now let's take a look at the base station antenna this is the uh, antenna where you can have the power uh, to the device um, again here we took a design at 20 gigahertz from the literature and optimized it for uh, 26 gigahertz in this case. So this is an optimized model for uh, two, 4 by 4 or 2 by 2 and then this is 4 by 4 and 8 by 8 and 16 by 16 array here. Again here we took each array and uh, looked at the self impedance and self uh, reflection versus the isolations. Same thing with 8 by 8 and the 16 by 16. What is key in all these things is that the curves have to be matched for all the elements. That's what you see here, that they're very well matched and so perfect design for this case. <clears throat> now we can also have um, uh, different uh, array sizes here and their uh, gains. The larger the array, 
the more the gain, that means less the beam width that you can see here. And also for an 8x8, you can also see the scanning performance of it as you go. Now we have the device antenna as long as, and also the base station antenna. Now we look at the radio channel coverage in this case. You take the antenna pattern calculated by FICO and input into WinProp, which is a much broader propagation analysis software to indicate the base station in this location and look at the coverage in terms of the power uh, that uh, goes around the uh, city, or in, uh, in this case, urban environment here. So for network planning of 5G, you have 3.5 gigahertz and 26 gigahertz. 3.5 gigahertz can propagate broadly, so you can see that the number of base stations are here and uh, the coverage is quite uniform over the area here, but we need 26 gigahertz with the same number of uh, base stations, the coverage doesn't go much farther than the base station. So you can see much uh, the blind spots in various places. So 3.5 gigahertz can be used for broad range coverage, whereas 26 gigahertz can be used for spot coverage with high data capacity requirement in this case. So, but also one can, what one can do is that if we have the, um, the, the mobile station or the base station beam forming. So you have the base station that is focusing towards the device. If the mobile station, that is the device also focuses towards the base station, you get much better coverage in that case. You can see if no beam forming in a mobile station, you can see the blind spots here. But once you have the mobile base station, or mobile station also focusing towards the base station, you can see much better coverage in this case. So as a conclusion, <clears throat> 5G will provide higher throughputs. And to have those higher throughputs, one has to use the massive MIMO, which and also at a higher frequency, 26 to 28 gigahertz, which means that one need to have the capability to design the antennas. Because in this case, we can do that using FICO at um, um, for the, the device level as well as at the base station level. And of course, one can use um, WinProp, which is the propagation analysis tool, to do the analysis of the uh, network planning and analysis of the 5G radio coverage. Um, for more information, you can go to our website, altairhyperworks.com, slash FICO, and you can have uh, more information. Thank you very much.